look at the pictures. You are given 10 seconds to analyze each picture. Complete the missing letters to form the correct names of animals being described. Different animals have different structural parts. Their structural parts, such as the beak or bill and wings of a bird, wings of a bat, tusks and trunk of an elephant, and antlers of a deer enable these animals to survive in their environment. They can move from one place to another to look for food and to escape from their enemies. This ability to survive in a particular environment is called adaptation. Here are some examples of animals with their body parts used for locomotion or movement. Animals such as horse, cow, dog, and kangaroo use their legs to walk, run, hop, or jump. Rabbits and frogs have hind legs for hopping. Centipedes and millipedes use their legs for crawling. Snakes have scales on their bellies which help them crawl. Their scales allow them to hold on the ground and push themselves forward. They also use these scales to climb trees. Ducks and geese have webbed feet. They can walk and run. Their webbed feet allow them to swim in ponds and lakes. Fish have fins and a tail for swimming. They use them to push the water backward so that they can move forward. Squid and octopus can swim, although they do not have fins and tails. Instead, they use their tentacles to swim. Most birds and insects can fly because of their wings. Bats, which are mammals, can also fly. Ostrich has wings. However, because of its massive weight, it cannot fly. Animals use their body parts to get their own food. Animals that eat meat or flesh are called carnivores. Dogs, tigers, lions, and wolves have sharp teeth that can tear flesh of their prey. Eagles have claws for catching smaller animals. They also have sharp, hooked beaks for tearing flesh. Polar bears have paws with curved, sharp nails. These help them catch other animals for food. Snakes have fangs for biting other animals. Some snakes can inject poison, known as venom. 
bigger snakes like pythons can wrap their bodies around their prey and squeeze them. Frogs, toads, and lizards use their sticky tongue to catch insects. Scorpions have pincers for capturing insects, spiders, and centipedes. Some animals eat only fruits or other parts of plants such as seeds or leaves. These are called herbivores. Herbivores use their strong jaws, feeding tubes, flat teeth, and trunks. Caterpillars have strong jaws with sharp cutting parts that can easily cut leaves. Butterflies have a long sucking tube called proboscis for sucking the nectar of flowers. Goats, cows, zebras, giraffes, carabals, horses, sheep, and deer have strong jaws and flat teeth for crushing leaves. Elephants use their trunk to get leaves from trees. There are animals that eat both plants and flesh or meat of other animals. They are called omnivores. Monkeys use their tail and hands to hang on trees to get their own food. They use their teeth to chew or grind the food they eat. Ducks and chickens use their beaks or bills for pecking grains and worms. Animals use their body parts to defend themselves from other animals that hunt them for food. These animals that hunt other animals for food are called predators. Animals that are hunted for food are called prey. Animals also use their body parts to defend their young or protect their territory. Some animals fight against each other over female animals. Horses use their hooves and legs in fighting. Elephants use their tusks and trunk. Rhinoceroses, goats, cattle, and carabaos use their horns for attacking or defending themselves. Deer have antlers. Eagles and other birds of prey defend themselves using their beaks and sharp claws or talons. Some animals have sharp quills or spikes. These spiky species are difficult to attack. Some kinds of bees and wasps have sharp body parts called stingers. When they sense danger to their hives, they might attack using their stingers. Bees pierce their stinger on the animal or human skin, then release a poisonous substance that causes pain to the victim. Crocodiles, alligators, iguanas, and other reptiles use their strong tail for protection. Have you ever imagined yourself that every time you are threatened by your enemies, your defense is to break your own bones and use them for weapons? Well, a hairy African frog species will amaze you of its defense mechanism. When breeding, the males watch over their eggs. When threatened, the males develop thin strands of skin along the sides of their body that resemble hair. But what is amazing to these animals is that they have the ability to crack their toe bones and push them through their skin to form sharp claws. These claws threaten their attackers after which their muscles relax and these claws slide back under their skin. This ability to force the bones through their skin causes little or no harm to these creatures.
forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep you guys updated.